I never even dreamed of being a teacher. Confession number one. Hi, I'm Teresa Alvarez Diaz with MrsDiazTalks.com. Starting off the series of confessions, uh, since school is on the horizon, here we go. Um, never, never did I ever dream of being a teacher, of being in education. Uh, growing up in a very poor family and, you know, growing up in a very poor part of the city, I always thought, hey, you know, I'm definitely going to need to make some money to get out of here. Uh, so I really thought, oh, you know, I'm going to go, like, doctors make a lot of money. So that's where, that's, that's where my heart and my mind were. You know, it's about getting out and making sure that I have the means to do that. So definitely I knew teachers didn't make money. I never even thought about it. But in 10th grade, I had an exam. It's called the ASVAB. It's a vocational exam. And basically they tell you what your vocation is is or you know at least what you what your interests are at the top at the very top was teacher education and I, I refused to believe it I mean I remember being angry at the results and saying this is wrong because there's no way I'm going to be a teacher that's what I said there's no in 10th grade there's no way I'm going to be a teacher so fast forward I was you know in college I was almost finished with my uh, bachelor's degree and which was in business. And I, you know, I, I was going to continue going to school. So I went to, you know, wanted to see what I could do, ran into a friend. She had a CBEST uh, booklet with her, you know, and I'm like, Hey, so what's that? And she's like, Oh, I'm going to study for the CBEST. So like, why do you want that? Oh, well, you know, I could always substitute while I'm still going to school. Bingo. I said, that's what I need because subbing paid, you know, pretty good money for somebody who's a student. And so I went into sub, you know, I started substitute teaching and that was my, that was it. Like I, that was the bait. And so I started substitute teaching. Then I, I was offered, um, you know, a position at teaching adults, computer, uh, you know, computer skills. And I love that because I've always, you know, I've been into technology, uh, ever since it came on to, you know, into our lives you know, back in the day. And I just started uh, really enjoying that part of my life. And then I got uh, a full-time job offer and I said, yes, because, you know, it was a financial decision I was making. You know, it, it was, it, it was something that uh, served me at the, at that point, but I kept a, a side job that I had with the small business development center thinking, you know, cause this is who I really am and this is what I'm going to do. But right now I need the finances and this is going to help. And I would have people ask me, hey, why don't you go teach at, you know, the junior high and high school? You're going to get paid more money. And I'm like, oh, you couldn't pay me enough. You will not. I will never teach in junior high and high school. 16. Count them. 16 years. I'm starting my 16th year teaching junior high and high school students. And it has been the best time of my life. It has been the best ride I have had. I mean, a ride because, you know, there are stops and, you know, and, and there's things that happen, but it's always been uh, the best time of my life of uh, learning from students now, uh, understanding, you know, how blessed I am and how the fact that I was actually, you know, the moment that, you know, I came into God's perception of, you know, being, being a human, uh, from that moment on, I knew, you know, he knew that this is who I was going to be. And um, now I know that I, I it, and it didn't really hit me until just a few years ago when I had a student um, come up and say to me, you know, Mrs. Diaz, the goal that I have is to speak as a biliteral person like you do, you know, that fluent Spanish, that fluent English, that's how I want to speak. And that was just, um, to this day, you know, it's one of the most impactful comments or, or you know, uh, compliments that I've received from my students. And the reason it was so much, not because he was like honoring, you know, the fact that that's what I was teaching him. It's the fact that I was, I was somebody he could follow. I was somebody that he felt influenced by. And to understand the depth of, of my you know, significance in the life of a student is to come to understand what an educator is and understanding the value of, of teachers. And I hadn't, I had, you know, I, being very honest and 
the fact that I hadn't realized that until a few years ago, you know, and I've been in education now for a while, but understanding is humbling and understanding the, what we are expected to do as human beings, um, as we are leaders in this life and this journey of learning and you know, now my desire is to inspire. I want to continue helping students find their way and have a vision. And, um, and I'm really excited to be a teacher. I never thought I would say that, but I'm saying it. Confession. And if you don't know what you're going to do with your life, if you don't know who you are meant to be in life, if you don't understand what your purpose in life is, Start asking those questions, you know, and start seeing what it is that you really enjoy doing. Personally, to me, sharing. This is what I did. That's why I do these videos, because I love to share. I, I, it's just, that's who I am. And I've learned many lessons, and I love to share what I've learned. I've learned that a teacher is an incredibly valuable thing. And yes, there's not a whole lot of money in it. But you can make a living. I mean, it's good. It's been good to me. But most important of all, my soul has found satisfaction as it would never have at any other, in any other uh, position. To know that you leave a legacy, you know, there's that now cliche, cliche-ish um, statement of, you know, to teach is to touch a student forever, right? You know, and you have the numbers. But that's, that's what it is. I mean, and I feel it because now I value the teachers that, that were in my life. And so I start off the new year, be it that you're going to college, be it that you're already in a career, or that you are, you know, one of my students watching this because I'm going to ask you to watch this. Uh, you have time to analyze who you are. Do it. It's worth it. And start embracing who you are, whatever that is. I know for sure that I could never have been a doctor as much money as it was in, if, you know, to make. Because if you just tell me about somebody, you know, who has like a nosebleed, I'm already like, you know, going into shock. It's not what I was meant to do. It wasn't who I am. So start thinking about who you are, what you want to be, embrace who you are. And as always, don't forget, elevate your frequency so you can live. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, comment, share with us your story, and be blessed. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.